Hello, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to automate downloading a file, creating new email in any web-based email client. For this example, I will use Gmail, but it could be Outlook. Uploading the file to that email that you just downloaded and then sending the email all without code in a matter of minutes with Axiom.ai, a Chrome extension for automating the browser. I'm Alex Barlow, co-founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. Hello, before I show you how to build the bot, one thing you should know. To currently, to upload or download files, you must use our desktop app. It's available for Linux, PC, and of course, Mac. If you haven't got it already installed, you can install it at axiom.ai um, slash, what is it, uh, guide hyphen part hyphen two. It's available to use for all Axiom tiers and takes a few seconds to download. You may have it installed already as part of your setup. You can check quickly by being on your dashboard and look for the sign that's just the bottom left or the text that just tells you the desktop version. Okay, now for some of the awesomeness of Axiom and browser automation. I don't get tired of doing these demos and making bots because it's so frigging cool. Okay, I'm going to actually just go back to the desktop and walk you through. Like, hold on. Create, create a new automation from scratch, right? And create new and start from blank. Okay, so another thing to know you're downloading and uploading files, all that they are sub steps, which are a grouping inside of the interact with the page interface step. So they're not available at the top level, which are steps, they're sub steps, the second level and grouped inside the interact with the page interface. So to access those, you need to start with an interact step. And this is our primary step for interacting with the browser. It starts off with a a go to URL, which you can just get the current URL from. And that's what I'm doing for this demo. I'm just going to download any old thing off this WordPress site, a theme, I think, whatever it is, doesn't really matter. So the first thing I've done is tell my bot to go to the right page. That could be your report in Shopify or in Amazon. Next, I'm going to add the sub step I talked about for downloading files. So you see the button that's this one's green and called add a step. This one's um, add a sub step. OK, now download is further down the list somewhere. So I'm going to use the search and we're just going to download a file. Before I show you how to set that step up, there are two options. Actually, well, three options, I should say. Download a single file, download file from a URL. That's where you just pass the URL straight into a step. I'll just talk you through this one, but I'm not going to use this step. So you can basically um, pass URLs direct from a Google Sheet or an API with Zapier, for example. You could just pass, connect your Zapier using our integration or now Instagramat as well. Pass a URL to an image and then um, download it to a folder. OK, then you can rename it as well. So that all can be done from the download from URL step. But I'm going to show you the other step for downloading. <coughs> Excuse me. Download um, just a single file, but you can also download multiple files using that step. OK, download file. First thing I need to do, of course, is tell, uh, tell Axiom what to download, right? So I'm going to click the download button. And then we're going to rename it. And we're going to call this, what are we going to call this? Download, something original. I don't know. Spurs, okay, the name of my football team. Okay. Well, in fact, I've done that wrong, haven't I? Completely ignore me. Let's, I wasn't thinking. So I've selected the download button. Now I need to select folder. So click select. This little widget takes a little while to open because it opens up on the desktop. And I'm going to just select that folder to do my download. Now you can, if you're really good at remembering all your paths to your folders in your desktop, you can, um, or your laptop, you can just type those in yourself. I'm rubbish at remembering those sort of things. So 
I'm going to use the click. Then this is where I put my name in this. Yes, I'll call it Spurs. Okay, so that's how simple it is to download a file. Now that file will be downloaded to um, folder called videos and the file will be renamed to Spurs. Okay, so how do I then <coughs> pass that um, file to the create the email, blah, blah, blah. Well, let's go to the next part. <coughs> so two um what we want to do here is add another interact step because we want to take the data from this first interact step to pass the file name for when pass it down to this interact step for when we re-upload it now we're going to enter a different URL here because we want the bot now to go off to our email client so we can upload it. So let's talk about email clients. So for this video, I'm going to show you how to do it with um, Gmail, but you can also do the same thing for Outlook and probably all the other email clients as long as they've got a web interface. I'm also going to show you a couple of tricks to make it or a trick to make it a little easier. So I'm just going to tab into um, a different page and I'm just in my spam folder so I don't expose any valuable emails or private information people who spam well their information is I don't mind sharing on the screen okay so this is gmail now I could try and build the bot to click on this interface and compose the email but one thing I've learned is that that can be a bit tricky. Sometimes I've needed to do custom selectors because Gmail has lots of weird and wonderful JavaScript loading on, going on all sorts of weird stuff with their classing. Well, not weird, it's just super smart and super complicated. I want to make things a bit simpler. So the thing I learned that I'm going to teach you is that Gmail has, because it's actually really old, its basic version, which is kind of underneath all of this shiny polish they've added over the years, is its basic version, which is easier to interact with. It's very simple to get to. I'll share the links of how to do it. Basically, you just click on a URL and um, it'll take you to the basic view. And here's the link. I'll send you the link in, um, or I'll post it in the video's um, description. And this is what you get. You get this beautiful, basic, original website without all the JavaScript and flashy loading things and like content popping all on that. So it makes life really easy and really fast. So I can very simply like select the file and upload it. So I'm going to walk you through all of that. Now, I bet you're wondering, is this mode available for um, Outlook? And indeed it is. I'll share the link to this as well, but a little bit of Googling and you can find these answers. Google is a great educational tool. Use it, you probably already do, because after all, you're all probably smart people doing cool stuff with automation if you're using Axiom. Okay. And Outlook pretty has the identical mode. It's called the light version, which you can switch to, switch to. Again, I'll share some links. Now back to doing the actual bot. Okay, so we've got the second interact step. We're going to grab the URL of the um, the basic version of Gmail. Then I'm going to add a step, a click, and select compose email, just in case we need to start a fresh email. Oops. Next we can add, before I do the download step, let's add in the other steps to fill in the email address, add the subject line and the body text. So into text. Two for the email. And type alex at axiom.ai. That is my actual email address, by the way. So if anyone ever needs a hand or um, some suggestions, some tips, or just to geek out over browser automation or anything else, 
please get in touch. Separate your emails with a comma if you want to do multiple. <coughs> Excuse me. And next, I want to add another enter text step. In fact, I'm just going to add a series at once because it's just quicker. As we make our next releases of Axiom going on in the future, we're going to improve the step adding process as well to make it a little faster. One of the things on our on our list. So next, I'm going to add subject line. Or did I do that one already? I think I may have done that already. I'm just going to put some text. Hello. I haven't set up the first one. Sorry, I'm going to do the subject line with that one. And the second one just be the body. Oh, this is my file. <coughs> Now, a lot of people are using this automation like for reporting. So you're going to download files from some sort of content management system or um, uh, something like Shopify, uh, you know, a platform based system where you've got lots of reports coming in and you may want to email and distribute them with the team. Okay, so now we've done the email, we've done the subject line, the body, blah, blah, blah. Let's do the final step and that's to upload our file. So we again, this is a sub step. Upload the file. All we need to do is select the choose file option. Press complete. Next, we need to tell um, Axiom the path to the file. Now, you can manually put a path in. You can click to select to choose uh, a file path or the powerful way is you can pass. I can take the token. This is why I did keep these two sets, um, these two um, interact steps separate, is that I can pass the download file information straight into my upload file information. And that's really powerful because I could create a looping automation for this bot as well. But I'm just going to do the single upload and download. Sorry, single download and upload for the time being. But look, insert data. I, I, so this is the data from the first interact step. You can see the file name I added. And that's it. That should be the bot done. Now the bot's going to go to this page, download the file, go to the next page. It's going to start composing the email, enter the addresses, subject, body and then it should upload the file and be done now i'm just going to add a short wait so the bot doesn't zoom through its task and i miss it completely just let's have a look click save let's click run now if i run the desktop you're going to get quite a little warning there also the link to download the desktop app if you don't have it You'll also be prompted if you try and add the step, the download steps without um, having the desktop app, you'll also be told where to download it. Now, I'm running on the desktop. It's just the app's going to open up any minute now. Here comes the desktop app. I'll drag it into view. <coughs> Excuse me. And so, first of all, we see the file being downloaded. Downloaded from... Um, so WordPress theme. And next, we should see the bot open up the email client, in this case, Gmail. Of course, you can do the same thing with Outlook or other web-based or any other, other platform that has um, a web-based email. And there you can see the file has been loaded. Now, all that's left to be done to finish this bot would be, I'm just going to close that and close it, would be, of course, because what I didn't do was add the send. So that would just be a click element. Select, click send, complete. And then that's it. You can run your bot, automate, automate the task of um, downloading files, uploading them to an email and sending them out. Um, that was pretty simple. No code browse automation is pretty incredible. You never get tired of watching bots do tasks for you. If you've got any questions, need any support, 
please do get in touch with us. Send us a little video of the task you want to automate and we'll help you out. And if you're interested in more videos, getting, getting um, links to more videos or just in your feed of YouTube, please click subscribe. Thank you.